Shalom Bocha, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? We are entering, moving from one holy day to the next, and from the next to the third. It's uh, Those are amazing days, those are very deep and very spiritual days. And we're about to enter to this uh, holy day of Yom Kippur, the day that the Creator made just for us for to give an opportunity for each and every one of us to to clean himself to have that uh, that day in the year that in that day everything is just being removed away from you and just you're being cleaned and purified and you're able to stand in front of the almighty with a happy heart, with clean hands, with a pure heart, and to know that today, in that day for sure, you completed your tshuva, and you came completely to Hashem. And your pure prayer is accepted and blessed in that day. Now there is something that is kind of a trigger in that day in Yom Kippur, and it's the sins between friends that are holding back the tshuva of a person. For an example, if you did something to me, I can forgive you for that. But if you did something to someone else, something wrong to someone else, I cannot forgive you for that. It's not mine to forgive. You need to please him. You need to make him, the third person, the other person, forgive you. Now, with the Creator, he told us for sure in that day of Yom Kippur that all the sins are being erased. But the meaning is that all the sins that we committed in front of him are being erased by him. His forgiving on all the wrong things that we did to him but on all the things that we did to other people he cannot forgive he cannot forgive you if you upset your wife he cannot forgive you if you mistreated disrespected your neighbor like there is no connection between the creator's forgiveness to what that you did to another person so on that it's written that Yom Kippurim does not atone for sins of between people, of between friends. Mitzvot ben Adam So what that we should do is to clean as much as we can between people before that great day. Now, it's not that in that day if you're going to come to a person and going to tell him, hey, I'm sorry, like whatever, like you're asking me to forgive you because it's Yom Kippur? You want me to forgive you on your sins, on your crimes to me? Because that now is you're afraid to be judged. You don't want that your crimes will be not erased. So you're coming to apologize. It, it's not enough for me to forgive you because of that. You understand? If a person is coming to you and he wants to ask for forgiveness only because he's trying to gain something, that's not the right intention to apologize. Therefore, we don't need to take that day and to understand that we need to ask for forgiveness for ourselves with a selfish desire to be clean and to stand pure in front of the Creator. We just need to understand that we cannot stand pure in front of the Creator before we fix everything that we did in front of other people, that we hurt people. And also if that person doesn't know what you did to him behind his back, let's say that you filth your mouth, you said bad things about the person and you and he even doesn't know how like that you're a bad friend, that you're not an honest friend, like you did things behind his back need to fix all those things need to wake up from the fact that the creator explained to us that 
he for sure will forgive you for everything because he is the father of mercy because he is above this world he knows your inclinations he knows exactly what you're going through he doesn't have big problems with you he understands what you go through in life but if you hurt other people they also need to understand what you went through and what happened that brought you to to sin to hurt them and for that you need to go and to take this lesson seriously and to go and to fix as much as you can in front of your friends in front of your loved ones in front of the people that you did something wrong something evil to them and to go and to fix it to straight up things and that's honesty i remember that in the beginning of my tshuva 20 years ago or so first one of the first things that i did was that i went to some people that i knew back then that i did something wrong to them and i apologized to them to my father on something that they did to him and to a friend that was my friend back then in those days that i ex like i apologized to him and and other situations i when i realized that i want to come closer to the creator i realized that it means that i should be honest that i should be truthful that i must stop lying that i must do the best that I can and, and to straight up myself, to fix myself, to be clean. So we should all take that reminder of that holy day of forgiveness and to use that opportunity to clean and to fix as much as we can in all those aspects that this holy day is not solving for us. The day is solving the problem that we have in front of the Creator. If we haven't woke up early enough for prayer, if we were not strict enough in matters of kashut, if we were not keeping the men didn't put filin like they were supposed to, whatever, all the mitzvot that between a person to the Creator. This day atones. This day will, for, will make the forgiveness to be accepted for those kind of crimes, for those kind of sins. But sins between people, things that you committed against other souls, other people, no one can forgive you for those things except of those people themselves. So buckle up and go and do as much as you can before they will blow the shofar in the end of Yom Kippur and do as much as you can to apologize and to fix, to straight up yourself, to understand where those weaknesses that you have in your spirit are coming from for you really to take it serious in a serious way to fix yourself and ever to do those things again and to take responsibility on your actions and not to run away and not to forget and not to pretend that things never happened because the eye of heaven sees everything and the creator is videoing and recording and taping and 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 uh, and um, putting all the records in the archives and uh, there is no moment in the in in this lifetime that will not be presented to the person after 120 years and we don't want to get to that moment and to be embarrassed that we thought to ourselves that we could hide our sins and that no one sees us in reality the creator he sees everything and recording everything so we need to take that opportunity to come back to the creator and to fix as much as we can on our own and not to wait for judgment day to judge us and to be judged just we need to judge ourselves we need to take responsibility on our actions and to come back to the Creator. To come back to the Creator means to come back to the truth. Because our God is the God of truth. Therefore, as long as you're lying to yourself, to your partners, to your surroundings, you are disconnected in those ways from the Creator. But everyone that is attaching himself to the truth by being simply truthful, and loyal and honest and not a liar and not a pretender and not fake to live honest life if you do that 
you're attaching yourself, bonding yourself, tying, connecting, gluing yourself to the Creator in an endless bond that will never be separate again because He's the God of truth. And in every place that you are being honest, you are attached and linked and connected to the Creator, that He is the God of truth. May Hashem bless us all as one, always to be happy, to be strong and healthy and wealthy and cheerful and satisfied from life and never, never, never to give up on our dreams, never to back off from our divine goals and our noble holy desires that are coming from the depths of our holy souls that are wonderful and precious and godly and pure. May Hashem remind us who we really are and that we not forget that we are a portion of heaven from above and go and shine the inner light that is treasured in our souls to all our surroundings, to the whole wide world, and may we all be redeemed. Amen.